Here we are at 20th and Carpenter Street. I'm gonna take you through the house. I'm gonna start at the front door as you walk in into the living room. Exposed brick wall, electric fireplace. It does give off some heat. This is the, the typical setup that uh, previous tenants have had. You walk in, there's the stairway up to the second floor. Up there you have three bedrooms, uh, one full bath upstairs. The other full bath is, is down here uh, on the way to the kitchen. Here is the first full bath. All right. um, you have some storage cabinets here, an upper, a lower, um, shower stall, pedestal sink. Pocket door. Bring you back to the kitchen. We have Allie, she's one of the current tenants now, <laughs> in the process of moving out. Um, on the left side, the refrigerator and the range in the microwave. On the right side, you have your dishwasher, sink, uh, bar stool counter space over there where she's working. Walk through the kitchen, you have an eat-in area. Keep in mind that the girls are in the process of moving out, so we've got some cleaning up and some organizing to do, but, um, but we'll get there before any new tenant were to move in. Uh, typically in this area, you can, you can put a, a small round table with maybe three or four chairs, you know, a little eat-in spot there. Off to the backyard, and again, I'm gonna ask you to use your imagination. We've got some weeding to do out back, um, but it's a decent sized patio area. Um, again, everything will be cleaned up before any new tenant were to move in. And again, typically you can fit, you know, another, you know, four, four foot diameter table with, with some, you know, four or five patio chairs out here. Welcome back through the kitchen. Uh, I will take you down to the basement. It's an unfinished basement. But it's, uh, it's dry, it's great for storage, and there's a washer and dryer down here, so um, obviously convenient. Um, so again, dry storage area. We've got some built-in shelving for your things, and we have some cabinets here. Uh, obviously, just storage down here, nothing finished. Uh, washer and dryer. Uh, just out here to the right and as far as the height of the basement goes uh, I'm six foot tall and I'm standing straight up under under the pipe so I'm able to, to stand up all the way without uh, having to bend over other than you know with the HVAC vent thing here back up to the basement the, to the kitchen area. I'll take you upstairs, show you the bedrooms. Bit of a wider staircase um, than most typical city homes. Makes it a little bit easier to, to take furniture down or uh, up and down the stairs as you're moving in or out. Um, at the top of the stairs, just to kind of give you an overview of the layout of the second floor. The uh, back bedroom, you can kind of see there. Uh, that's, I guess, the mid-size bedroom. Um, right here to the right is the uh, bathroom, another full bath. And kind of turning over, looking towards the front of the house, you have the other two bedrooms. The one on the left there is the smallest of the three, but again, still not a small bedroom. And then I guess you would call the master bedroom is that front room up there. So I will start in the back of the house and kind of work my way towards the front. Again, this is the, the mid-size bedroom here. I don't have the exact dimensions. Um, I can get them if, if you need them. But uh, I think the, the dimensions are probably about 15 feet by maybe 10 to 12. 
something like that. Uh, tons of storage space um, up top above the closet and also in the closet here. So looks like this is a queen size bed. So to kind of give you an idea of the sizing. Take you through to the bathroom, the upstairs bathroom. You get a, a full bath, a jacuzzi tub. To the left, and then you have your your shower stall over here to the right. All right, walking my way to the front of the house, I'll show you the the smallest of the three bedrooms here. Again, it's the smallest of the three, but but not necessarily a a small bedroom. I would say it's uh, probably about 10 by 12 to 14 feet um, with a closet as well. Um, smallest of the, the three bedroom closets, but again, um, pretty, pretty good amount of space as well. Uh, just outside of the middle bedroom here, you have a linen closet. Shelving storage for, you know, vacuum cleaner or anything like that. And going towards the front of the house here is the, the biggest, uh, I guess you would call the, the master bedroom. Um, again, the dimensions are probably about 15 by 15, something like that. Uh, this is, it looks to be a queen size bed to give you a, a kind of gauge of, of the size. And then tons of closet space in this one. You have like two full closets with some storage above it, for some out of season stuff. And that is everything. Any questions, I will include my email address and phone number and you can reach out and we will give you the information that you need. Thanks.